Hey Rock You, it's time to learn School of Rock by School of Rock from the movie School of Rock. Also sometimes known as Zack's Song because it's written by the character Zack Mooneyham or Mooningham, I'm not sure which. Sure. Anyway, there are only three sections of this song. So you learn that section, that's all you need to know. Uh, each of the sections repeats, I think, once or twice, we'll figure that out. But um, we're going to do parts for two different guitars, bass, and keyboards. I still don't know who's playing the keyboards, we'll work that out later. Okay, first, in the intro, which repeats middle, way, middle of the way through the song, let's do guitar number one, which I think we said was going to be Sienna. Now, zoom in on my fingers here. You're going to find the seventh fret of your guitar, which is the third dot on almost every guitar, but I suppose not everyone. The seventh fret. And you're only going to use the second and third strings. That's the B string and the third and the G string. Okay? And you're going to use your index finger to hold them down. You're not going to let go of those the entire intro. And you're going to strum the two of them together. Go to my right hand. So it makes that sound. Okay? And you're going to go with your middle finger, actually, whichever fingers are comfortable for you. You're sometimes going to put the, uh, on the B string, depress the 8th and 10th frets. So it's going to sound like this, and then I'll do it slowly. That's fast. What, break, I'm going to break it down. So just watch my left hand, watch the fingers. Remember, this is the 7th fret, the 3rd dot, 8th fret, ninth fret, which you're not going to use, 10th fret. Only the B and G strings. And if you only look at the B string, it's... And it doesn't matter if you do it the same way every time. You can mix it up a little bit. For example, you could go... Sounds good. As long as you only use those three notes and always play this note, it's going to sound fine. That's the intro for guitar number one. Guitar number two, super easy. You, I believe we were going to do George K on guitar number two, you are going to do power chords. Now let's look at my left hand and remember what a power chord is. Power chord, you only play three notes. The note that the chord is, so this is a D. Whoops, I played the wrong note. D, which is the fifth finger, sorry, fifth fret on the A string. Then seventh fret on the D string, which would be uh, A, an A. And seventh fret on the G string, which is another D. So you're only playing A, D, Dad. Hey, Dad, nice to see you, Dad. And you don't play any other strings. A good idea, focus on this hand, please. A good idea is to cover that E string also so you don't play it by accident. If you play it, it sounds really bad. Remember we learned this in Revolution, I think it was. So either cover it, so you're playing the whole the note, which is not so bad, or you can do what's called muting it, which is where you just rest your finger on it gently so it doesn't make any tone if you play it by accident. But you're only going to try to play... That's your power chord. That's a D. So while Sienna is going... You're going to play a D power chord. And then another D power chord. And then three D power chords in a row. And then three more D power chords in a row. That's the entire intro. That's all it is. Okay, let's go to the verse. The verse is very easy for both of you. For Sienna, you're playing open chords, over here, open chords, D, C, line of the verse, which has, after you do that four times, you stay on the G. So, so recess is in session, two and two make five. Now, baby, I'm alive again. Whatever the, the vocals, you just stay on that G. But the rest of the time, you're just going. And at the end. the guitar number one. Guitar number two, going back to our power chords. So you're going to play something a little different. You're going to play D, C, B, C. And you're going to go And then in the last
last one, let's turn this down a teeny bit. The last one, where Sienna's going G, you're also going to go G. So you're going to go Sim says it's in session to a 2 main 5 and now G. Same as Sienna's playing. That's it for the verse. Now we're on to the chorus. Sienna, you're back to the open chords here. D. And so if you want to be the teacher's pet, baby, you better forget it. Rock got no reason, rock got no rhyme. And then you go G again, just like you did in the verse. Better get me to school on time. Oh, yeah! It's so easy. George, same for you. You're just going power chords again. D. Whoops, I made it wrong. Now, the power chord for E is actually up here. So you slide up two frets. Then you're going to C. No, that's not right. It's, not, it's G, sorry. Power chord D. And for G, it's better to play for G. But instead of playing the whole, just play. Just play those three, because it's more like a power chord. So. Oops. That's it. Those are the three sections of the song. Intro, verse, chorus. After that chorus, the intro repeats again, then the, chor then the verse repeats again, then the chorus repeats again, then there's another intro where the keyboard solo comes in, and that's it. That's the entire song for guitar. On to bass. Again, three sections. Very easy. Uh, there's really not a lot of change in the different times you do the section, so if you learn a section once, you play it the same way each time if you want or you play around with it a little bit. The intro could not be easier, Christopher. It's D. You play Whether you play the open string or whether you play the fifth fret on the A string, it doesn't matter. So it's, while Sienna's going, you're going, and when, whenever every time George goes, you're hitting a D. Now obviously I'm an octave higher than you are, yours is gonna be ball. And then three times, and then three times again. Okay, that's it. That's the intro. The verse. Pretty simple. And just one hit for the, at the beginning, so it's, you're going to play D, C, B, C, D, C, B, C. And then a little bit into the verse, you'll hear it when you listen to the song, the bass starts going like this instead of... to each note instead of one, and then you hit the G just the same time they, they do the rest. Actually, there's another thing which I'll get to in a second. Um, so on that, last, on that last line, it said, recesses in session two and two make five. So it recesses in session two and two make five, you hit that G, and then you can pedal the G a little if you want, especially if your note is dying out, or you can just keep it and sustain it. That's it. Now, there's a part in the, uh, in the second verse I think it's in the second verse, I'll have to go back and listen to it, where she starts doing something that I don't particularly like. If you want to do it, do it. I, she starts going. I don't think it adds much. When I hear it, if I concentrate on it, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really like that. So I would just stick with the. See what you think. Play around with it. Finally, the chorus. You're starting on the fifth fret of your open, or fifth fret of your A string, and you're stepping down A, sorry, D, C, B, and then you're going to open E. So. And the second phrase, you're going E, F sharp, G. Then you're moving down to your D string, and you're going, uh, what would that be? That would be F, F, E, D. So 
Um, you actually don't have to play the fifth fret of the A string. You could stay on the open D, but I think it's better to do it. So either way. <laughs> And the second phrase is E, F sharp, G. And then what I hear, it sounds like she doesn't play it the same way every time, is going, repeating the F sharp, G, and then going back to D. And then a little, so I'll do it one more time, the whole thing, ready? That's what I hear in the chorus. It might not be perfect, but I think it's what she's playing. Okay. Okay, the keyboard part. I don't know who's playing the keyboard. I have my eye on you, Aimer, but we'll see. All right? And in the, cor in the verse, that, that sound that Sienna is making on the guitar keeps going, and it's really only two fingers that you need for it. One is the D, right between these two black keys. And one is going to change between this key, this key, and that key. Those are the only ones you need, so it's... Okay, so the chords in the chorus, there's three chords you need to know. A D, an E, and a G, all major chords. This is how you make a D. This is how you make an E. And this is how you make a G. And we're going to make a G down here, and then back to D. So it's, if you want to be the teacher's E, pet, G, baby, you better for D, get it. You play D again. Rock got no reason, rock got no rhyme, then you play G and you stay on G. You better get me to school on time. Oh yeah! Like that. Now, if that's too hard to play, you can play it with two fingers. It's still gonna work. It'll still work fine.